Bernard Dong, thanks so much for Thank you very much. coming over. Thanks for your sports. Behind me, there they are. Breaking the glass ceiling. Wow. Pending a Guinness Book of World Record confirmation, that young lady in the back could be shattering the record of cooking for 75 hours, 400 recipes. And the one in front, First Officer Tracy Wangeshi. Ladies, give me some love. How you doing? Fine, thank you. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it. Malia? Thank you. Yes. Salaam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Barakatuh. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Malia, you sit there in the end. Yes. Mogeshi, first officer, sit in the middle. Okay. On that, yeah, the orange. Perfect. Oh, excellent. Thanks so much for coming, ladies. And congratulations to both of you. Thank, Thank you. you. You know, there are a lot of young women watching you tonight, okay? Yes. And we want to inspire them that they can grow up to be a pilot. Yes. They can grow up to shatter records. Absolutely. That's what it's all about. By the yes. way, what made you cook for 75 hours? I mean, you have nothing else to do? <laughs> Of course, I wanted to have a purpose in my life. I wanted to prove it to myself and to also to my two lovely daughters and also to the women in my community and at large in Kenya that nothing is impossible if you set your mind, your heart yeah. into it. But you're not trained in cooking, you're not trained in chef school or anything like that. No, I'm self-taught. Self-taught? Yes. And for 75 hours you cooked? Absolutely. 400 recipes? Kabisa. Papi chakula? <laughs> Tracy, did you always want to be a pilot when you were growing up? Yes, I did. Yeah? Uh, I was inspired by my, uh, my nephew who died in 2001. He, was an, uh, he, was, uh, he used to fly in the army. And he died in a plane crash? Or yes, a yeah, with the fighter jets. The fighter jets? Yeah, fighter jets. Where? He was fortunate in the army. Oh my Air Force, goodness. Yes. So when he crashed and died, uh -huh. you said, I want to fly. Yeah, Are I want to fly. Are you mad? Yes. It was still a passion, you know. And then you, you went ahead and did it? Yes, yes. With all the zealousness, I was willing to fly. And when people walk into the aircraft and they look into the left side and they say, my goodness, there's a woman flying this plane. Yes. What, what kind of reactions do you get? Oh, people are like, wow, it's a lady. <laughs> Can't believe this. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Huh? Wow, how did you want, why, why did you decide to be a pilot? Mm. Tell them, because, you know, it's my dream. That's what I've always wanted. Yes. Fantastic. Yeah. And you've been a first officer for eight years. Yes. So when are you going to go to the, because first officers sit on the right seat for yes. people who don't know, right? Yes. And captains sit on the left seat. seat. Yes. When's that going to happen? Uh, right now we are working on a program that uh, we should start soon on my left seat training. Ah. Yes, very soon I should be a captain. But you're practically there. I mean, yeah. it's, you know, it's just yes. moving. Yeah, from the right to the left. Yes, yes. You know, like a driving a right-hand drive and left-hand drive, like yes. some people. Yes, I remember more responsibilities. <laughs> uh, by the way, we must mention that Tracy works for Silverbird Aviation. Yes. Congratulations. We have to mention that because they allowed you to come over here. Yes, yes. Other airlines, it was, you know, Walikwa Kiringa, like in Sawa too. Sawa too. Not Sawa too. Uh-huh. Congratulations to you. Thank you so much. Well done. Well, I want to say that without uh, the opportunity that I was given by Pony Oil Products, ah. um, the commercial director, Mr. Rajul Malde, he was the one who believed in me. Yeah. And he told me that you are going to use our fresh fry products. And with that, I yeah. used the entire uh, fresh fry products yeah. during my attempt. I'm glad you mentioned him because I was like, I'm going to talk to you mama. Please, wallet. No, I'm going to talk to you later. No, I'm going to talk to you <laughs> I hope you will invite him too. <laughs> he's watching, right? Yes, I'm sure Raju and I watch, eh? I hope he can see us and say, hi, Raju. <laughs> okay. We'll, yeah, Raju, your show will come one of these days, all right? Yeah, let's deal with the ladies first. We're going to take a break, come back. Plenty more ahead. This is the inspiration, folks. When we talk about inspiring, these are the young ladies. And you out there, Young men, young ladies, you could be this when you grow up. Keep tweeting at Koinanga Jeff at Citizen TV Kenya. The hashtag is JK Live. JK Live takes a break. We'll be back in a moment. By cooking 75 hours non stop. When I finish the 75 hours, I will actually see my mother at the end of the corner smiling at me and telling me, you have done well, my daughter. 
that there is Malia Mohammed. She just cooked for 75 hours straight this past weekend. And pending a confirmation from the Guinness Book of World Records, she could break that record. And right next to her, Tracy Wangeshi, First Officer, Dash 8, Silverbird Aviation. Flying on the right-hand side of the plane, and soon on the left-hand side. Young ladies, are you watching? Malia. Yes. What was that about? Well, uh, I wanted to make my parents proud. They have done so much for us and we cannot even repay them. So for me to actually achieve this, I can actually say that my mom is really proud of me. And my dad who is in Uganda right now is proud of me too. Where is your mother? My mom has passed away. It's been four years now. Since she passed away? Yes. How, how, did, how did she die? Um, she just had um, some, I think, blood cloth in her yeah, brain. Yeah. Yeah. She paralyzed, and after one week, went into ICU, and she passed away. Just and like that. And you were close. Yeah, very close. I'm her firstborn daughter. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So if she's not there, I'm there. If she's out in the safari, uh, yeah. So when you're cooking. Yes. You actually feel her presence. There was a point when I was doing the marathon where I was uh, on my 61st uh, hour, I was hallucinating. I could actually hear her voice calling out on me. At that point, I was like, you know, this is really crazy because I'm seeing things and yeah. I'm, my mind is not focused. Yeah. What so was she saying to you? She was just calling out my name, Maliha. Maliha. And I was like coming in and out of my hallucination yeah. all that time. Yeah. Yeah, but I started reciting um, my small duas from Quran and I was like, no, I'm going to do this and I'm going to finish this. I have so many people who are depending on me, who, whom I have to show and prove to them that you can do it. Yeah. Yeah. And I had a lot of people who were needing me. I had to rise for people to rise. And I told myself that I have to fight this so those people out there can also have a fight. And the previous record for yes. cooking the most hours was how many and by whom? Um, it was 68 hours by Rickley Lumpkin from USA, California. So you had to beat 68 hours? Yes, of course. You know, Kenyans, we are known for uh, being champions in marathon. Yes. For running. Yeah. And it's in our blood. We yeah. are Kenyans. Yeah. We are champions. Yeah. There's, oh, there's greatness in each and every one of us. Sure. So I know that I have greatness in me. So I'm not going to settle down for less. I will rise to the top. Okay. I'm going to get back to you in a little while. I want to find out how does one go to the bathroom when they're up, you know, 75 hours straight? Because if it was me, Ntatoka Kidogo ni Hold on. Hold that thought. First officer. Yes, please. Look at you, so tiny, so, uh, you know. <laughs> do, do, do these planes intimidate you? I mean, when you, walk, when you went into flight school, uh -huh. because obviously you had this dream. Yes. Did you say, I can do this? Did you tell yourself? Yes, many times. Many times. Was it I never tough? gave up. Was yes, it? yes. It's not a joke. It's really tough. Yeah. You really have to prove yourself. Now that uh, we are ladies out there, you yeah. have to really. And they're prove not yourself. that many. Yeah, they're not that many. But I think with time, they're going. We're going to be many. Do the men respect you? Oh yes, they do. Yeah. Yes. Really. Yes, really, they do. They do. And okay, so with the captains on the left hand side. Yes. Do you, do you sometimes let? Take the plane off, take off with the plane. You, you yes. handle the controls, whatever it's yes, called. Yes, I do. Or land it. So, how yes. does that work? Yeah, we we divide duties. Whereby, let's say, if you're flying from Nairobi to Eldoret, mm -hmm. maybe I'll uh, will decide I'm the one flying. So mm -hmm. I'll do all the takeoffs, I'll do the cruise, I'll do everything, and I'll go and land. All my own decision making. Uh, now the captain will be the one in case he sees uh, something is not going right, he'll correct me. And if I'm flying, or if he's the one who's flying, he or she. Uh, I will also correct him. Yeah. Or do, she. do you get nervous? Do you get, uh, you know, do you get the adrenaline rush when you see a cloud coming your way or, or turbulence, as they call it? No, we are we are sort of used to it. So, we are. I'm not really. Yeah, I'm not really. The traffic. Yeah, we have traffic. Other planes. Yeah, other planes yeah. coming. Uh, we've been taught how to handle the yeah. situation. You circle or you. We circle. Yeah. Or you avoid the traffic. Yeah. What's been your most uh, challenging experience? Uh, my most experience was when uh, we hit a bird. <laughs> <laughs> you hit a bird yeah. in the engine? 
Uh, no, on uh, the right wing tip when we were coming to land. So what happened? Uh, so we we tried to bring the plane to a sa to a safe landing. And then we disembarked the passengers. Yes. Where were you? Uh, we were in the Mara. So you landed in the Mara? Yeah, we landed in the Mara. Safely? We were in the Mara, yeah, safely. How many passengers? Uh, we were about 12 passengers. Did you let them know? Uh, or they, they knew? They saw it when they came outside. You can see your body's hit. Yes. The damage? Uh, yeah, there was a slight damage which was fixable. But you landed safely? Yeah, we landed safely. Nobody was hurt. Nice. Yes. Well done. Well done. Mm -hmm. Malika. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, there you are cooking for 75 hours. Yes. How does one go to pee? <laughs> I think it's all about the mindset. You need to actually have a strong mental state of mind where you're going to train yourself because I've been training for the past one year. Mm training myself of sleep deprivation and also because if I'm going to go in for an attempt I need to tell myself that I have to finish this 12 hours yeah. and then that one hour I will rush into my hotel room so you do 12 hours straight yes and then you get an hour break yes you come back 12 hours yes an hour break yes Aha. so I had six breaks in that 75 hours okay yeah so you do all your business in that one hour exactly and come back and continue yeah most of the time I will not gulp in the water so what you I do is I have a bottle of water two cups of tea or maybe some uh, few coffee but I cannot have any glu glucose drinks or any uh. energy drinks so what I do is I had take a sip just to quench my thirst and during that time I don't eat what I do is I test so I don't have that urge of being thirsty all the time if I feel I'm thirsty I'll take a sip and I'll continue working Okay, what do you do when you're not doing, when you're not breaking Guinness Book Records? What, what do you do? Um, I work for an NGO company called Imani Collective. Doing what? Um, as an artisan. And uh, are you an artisan? Yes. Doing what? Well, uh, I do macrame design. It's an art of weaving using threads or strings. Oh. I make beautiful macrame curtains and pillowcases and, uh, you know, table Wait. runners. Kwa hivyo, J.K. Hello, unazwa tengeneza hizi? Kabisa. Na mbona huku tupatia, huku tuleta? Nyalike tena. Oh, wow. Yes. Well done. Well done. So... All this is subject to confirmation by the Guinness Book of World Records, right? How does that work now? How does it work? You've sent them the information? Yes. Mm -hmm. Now we're just waiting for them to review it step by step because it's a 75-hour footage from start to finish. Yeah. And we In have, real time. Yes. And also we have photographic evidence where uh, a group of young uh, youth who did all that, the, called uh, Mr. T shot it okay. from Kijiweni TV. Yeah, they're absolutely very good at, yeah. at their business. Uh, yeah. Those are the guys who filmed that, that what we showed just now? Um, not really that one. Oh, okay. They've got, they're the ones who are behind the cameras doing the attempt. So when are you going to know? When are we going to know? When I get to know. Yeah. When is that? When they send me an email. When is that? <laughs> is that tomorrow, the next day? In a few weeks' time. Okay. Yeah. Because they have to verify, Absolutely, check. yeah. Are you excited? I'm very excited. I'm anxious and nervous at the same time. Yeah. Wow. Well done. Thank you. First Officer Tracy. Yes, please. Uh, so how many miles have you accumulated right now? Okay. Air miles. Uh, we calculate them in hours. Oh, hours. Okay, yes. go ahead. Uh, I have about 4,000 hours total time. 4,000? Yes. Okay. Yes. So I think I've, where I've reached, I've reached a point where now I can say I'm very confident. Ah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And this Dash 8, do you enjoy it? Yes, I do. It's good, it's good aircraft? Machine, yes. Modern, <laughs> FS, full glass cockpit. Yes. Modern, More automated. Automated. Yes, yeah. automated. And so what, I mean, what's the next step for someone like you? You've been flying eight, eight years, right? Uh -huh, yes. You're 31 years old. Yes. What's the next step? Bigger aircraft? Yes. You know? Yeah, yeah bigger aircrafts mm. or a captain. Yes. You ready for it? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Like, let's I say a Boeing type. Single aisle or double aisle? Uh-huh. 400 passengers. Uh -huh. I'm ready. Hmm? I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> what did you study growing up? Um, I've, I've basically done flying. Throughout? Yeah, throughout. From high school straight to flying school. 
Yes. What do kids tell you when you talk? Do you go to speak to kids? Do you go to? Yes, I do. And? And they, uh, I really inspire them. And uh, I think I've challenged the girls to come and fly, come out strongly. They should not give up, not yeah. listen to anybody, follow your dreams. Yeah. Do you yes. see more and more young ladies applying to be pilots? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah? Yeah. Soon gonna be female dominated world. <laughs> oh, yes. All right. So, uh -huh. other than your nephew, uh -huh. who inspires you? Oh, Irene. Irene Motungi, she does. Is that Koki? Yeah, that's Koki. Oh, okay. First lady pilot. Yes. yes. <laughs> Boeing 787. Yeah, 787. Dreamliner. No, captain. Is that your dream to fly the Dreamliner? No. No, I, I don't mind. I don't mind career advice. But, but what is it? What is it about flying that just, you know, it, uh, really makes you, makes your juices flow? What is it? Uh, I think it's a passion. It's really must be the passion, must yeah. be willing to to follow what you want. Yeah. Yeah. I really feel I really have that passion yeah. to fly. Okay. Yeah, I don't see myself anywhere else. Wonderful. Yes. Malia, what's your favorite meal? Korean chicken bulgogi. What chicken what? Korean chicken bulgogi or beef bulgogi. <laughs> Those are um, meat tenderized and marinated into strips, yani, and then it has it's cooked in soy sauce and sesame seeds. Oh, it's really tasty. Wow, I'm, I, <laughs> I can taste it already. <laughs> do, do you do you uh, cater for any restaurants or private parties? When, oh yeah, I do, do. When you're not weaving, you know, pillowcases. Uh, <laughs> well, I have my own YouTube channel, Chef Malia Islam. Where uh, now is when I'm. Uh, I want. I have got like good photographer and videographers whom we are going to come in together and make new and uh, exciting content for people to you actually gain knowledge from. Nice. Yes. Okay, and I also do catering services from the side. We're going to take a quick break. Come back. Talk uh, some more about that. What do your daughters think of what you do? What do they? Oh, don't tell me now. <laughs> Any kids? No kids. Are you working on it? Uh, oh. My career is challenging. <laughs> <laughs> At thirty-nine thousand feet, it must be tough. <laughs> yes. <it is. laughs> Keep tweeting. <laughs> At Koinange Jeff, at Citizen TV Kenya, the hashtag is JK Live. Wow! This is inspiration at its best. Chef Maliha Mohammed and First Officer Tracy Wangeshi live on JK Live. We'll take a break, come back in a moment. And welcome back to Jeff Koinange live here at Citizen Television. Here with two amazing young ladies, inspirations, no doubt. Chef Mahliha Muhammad, she just broke, well, pending confirmation from the Guinness Book of World Records, the most hours cooking, 75 hours, 400 meals. Goodness gracious me. And of course, first officer, Tracy Wangeshi here. She flies a Dash 8 on the right-hand side. Any day now, she'll be on the left-hand side as a full-fledged captain. So a lot of people are asking, 400 meals, what kind of food were you cooking? Well, and you f cook the food fully? Yes. Go on. I'm a local dishes. Uh, Kenyan Swahili dishes mm -hmm. and international dishes as so well. So Muhamri and, and all that? Ah, Muhamri, Mbazia Nazi, mm -hmm. Vyazvia Nazi, mm -hmm. uh, Gideri, Irio, Mataha, Ugali, Matumbo, Matoke. You were cooking all of that? Yes. In different dishes, different pots? Well, I have uh, six gas stove burners, uh -huh. a deep fryer, an oven, a hot plate. Right. And there has to be meals going continuously with a nice flow. So you keep going from one meal to the other, exactly. one meal to the other? Exactly. And you don't burn the meals? Well, uh, onions. <laughs> <laughs> you sour? Yes, sir. And yeah. the rest? Um, you keep checking here, there. Exactly. If you're going to be boiling water for the rice mm -hmm. and I'm, uh, letting the stew simmer, and uh, there's Vyaz Vakarai frying, mm -hmm. and there's Mahambri rising, yeah. and there's pizza in the oven. Yeah. yeah, so I was moving around my area, my workspace area. 
because we had a team of uh, 40 students from Technical University of Mombasa yes. who were there to do the prep work. Uh -huh. So they were doing the prep work yeah. and I was doing the cooking. And so the prep work is Kutarisha, is a meal? Exactly, Zotra. chopping, chopping, cutting, yes. kneading, yes. Yeah. dicing, they're marinating, uh -huh. that is their work. Right. They cannot use any fire. So you finish these six meals or these six burning ovens and all that stuff, yes. right? Yes, yes. What do you do? You put it aside I mean, you bring in some fresh ones? Um, I call out a supervisor who is there to take the freshly cooked food and play, display it on another table. Because where we are at Kenya Bay Beach Hotel, the space that we were given was big. Mm -hmm. So we had divided a Frangipani restaurant into a kitchen as well. Ah. So that space, we had work station, a prep station, and a food station. So Which, prep, yeah. cooking, yeah. food station. So who, who delivers the food onto the table? Who, there's a team. You have yes, a team? Yes, yes. Ah. Yeah. So your job was to make sure the food was freshly cooked and ready and ready and taste every meal. I taste with a teaspoon. Ah. Yes. I have to make sure the food is cooked properly. Yes. Because I cannot give out any raw cooked food. Correct. Yes. And you know, the orphans are there who are all eating the food. As, as you were going along, exactly. they kept eating. Breakfast, lunch and dinner. For three days. For three days and a half. <laughs> Let's not forget the half. <laughs> 75 hours. Yes. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> all right. So, Tracy, you were saying earlier on you fly all the way to Mogadishu sometimes. Yes. At times I do. Oh, by the way, uh -huh. uh, <clears throat> uh, there's a tweet that just came in. Oh, no. It's a WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. Felix Odiwar, a.k.a. Mzejalas, mm -hmm. Jalango himself, says... Jeff, it's silver stone, not silver bird. <laughs> My bad. Oops, yeah. My bad. Yeah. I stand so, corrected. Yes, it's silver stone. Polly, bro, Polly, I got you, man. <laughs> silver bird. <laughs> silver stone. Yes, silver stone. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. So you fly to Mog sometimes? Yes, I do. It's, it's, it's dangerous, eh? I know, yes, it is. You, are you worried? You scared your family? Do, are, are they worried about you sometimes when you fly to these spots? Uh, yes, they do, but I always assure them that we are safe. Because wherever, uh, let's say, like when we fly into Mogadishu, we already have a, a team of people that when we land, we have uh, enough security. Yes. But it's a little worrying. I mean, you, it must be, you know, because, you know, you hear the stories. Yes, but uh, I think we, with the security that has been put now, um, it's safe. Yeah. Can say now it's safe. That nephew of yours that died in the, um, the Air Force, uh -huh. do, do you sometimes think about what he went through? Yes, I do. And? I think I live every day with the challenge. You do, huh? Yeah, I do. The first time you took off. Uh -huh. First day. What was it like? Wow. Uh, I was a bit scared. But with time, I overcame that fear. Yeah. They say takeoff and landing is the most dangerous time in an in aircraft's life. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, it is. Those yeah. are very critical phrases. Yeah. Yes. You ever had any bumpy landings? Oh, yes. <laughs> Quite normal. You really? <laughs> yes. That's normal. Yeah. Yes. So what do you do? I mean, you know, and I've had some pretty rough landings yes. and you say, what the mm -hmm. hell? What was the captain thinking, man? Uh, we've been taught how to counteract it. Yes. If you do a bad landing, you yeah. counteract it. Yeah. Yes. And do a better one next yeah, time. Yeah, do a better one next time. Would you prefer landings or taking off? Both. I don't mind. But I, I love landing a lot. Yeah. Yes. That's and my best you, part. When you're not flying, what uh -huh. do you do? When I'm flying, I read books, I travel. But this is your life. Yes. You know nothing else. Yeah, I know nothing else. Goodness. <laughs> That's horribly boring. Really? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> A lot of young ladies watching you right now, uh -huh. and they probably want to fly as well. They want to yes. get on that, in that cockpit, cockpit and just, you know, pull that throttle back and whatever mm -hmm. you call that thing and, and take off. What do you tell them? I'll tell them not to give up shouldn't listen to anybody follow your dreams because i followed my dreams yeah yes mm -hmm. I, I was in uh, the plane as well but um, uh -huh. away from the cockpit i was the other side uh-huh you know coffee tea juice uh -huh. coke so i never made it to the left side <laughs> why oh well, you know i don't have your ambitions you know i'm as smart as you are <laughs> Right. Malia. Yes. <laughs> so, what's been your mo the most challenging thing about what you do? Being critiqued. Ah. 
<laughs> we don't like critics. For sure. <laughs> yeah. So you have a YouTube channel. Yes. Where do you want to take this, this thing of yours, this mm. gift you have? Where do you, how far do you want to take it? Well, for me, I want to go and extend my culinary journey into an international level. I want to get an opportunity where I can learn in international level or international, uh, you know, get just uh, new international recipes that I can learn. Yeah. Because in any profession, without a doubt, a chef is always a student, his or her own life. Do you watch cooking shows? Absolutely. Do you love those cooking shows? Chef Gordon Ramsay is my idol. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I swear. I hate those critics. I love him. I know they're horrible. There's not. They're horrible. Not really. Would you take part in one of those shows? Absolutely. Master Chef Hell's Kitchen, yeah. I'll go in a minute. Seriously? Yes. Do you know Chef Curran? Um, not really. At uh, Sevens, you know, at ABC, you know, Sevens Restaurant? Uh, no. You need to meet this guy. I know. He goes all the way around the world, you know, cooking I... and adventuring adventures and stuff. Chef Curran. Jitwa? Yeah, him. Oh, he's at the Kenyan back of greatest back of uh, reality show. That's coming up soon, yes, right? On a yes. rival. Don't I mention the network. Don't mention the network. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. It's okay. It's yeah. okay. Yeah. But I would really love to meet him. Yeah, he's a great guy. Yes. Great guy. Yes. And he does all these things that you you would want to do. Yes. So you would want to take part in one of these things. Absolutely. And yet you hate being critiqued. Yeah. Well, what the hell. <laughs> What do your daughters think of what you do? My 15-year-old daughter looks up to me because she's in Form 1 uh, Form One at Coast Girls High School in Mombasa mm. and she's the greatest debater. Oh. She loves, she does, she does not have any fear of stage. Is that right? Yes. Does she like what you do? Absolutely. Is she proud of mommy? Absolutely. And the, the other one is how old? So she's six years old. She's finishing her nursery level this year. What does she think of what mommy does? Yeah, she just wants chips. <laughs> <laughs> like any six-year-old <laughs> ones, right? <laughs> were they there when you were cooking? Oh, yeah. They were there? Yes. And tasting and eating and stuff? Absolutely. Yeah. If they don't get a plate, they'll come and complain from far. Ma! <laughs> 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 you guys are amazing. I love it. We're going to take another break, come back, and talk about the future now, guys. Mm -hmm. What next? What next? You guys are, you know, millions of people are watching you right now and they want to be you when they grow up. We'll read a few tweets and SMSs, mm -hmm. find out what they think. Yes. All right. Yes. Well done, guys. Well done. Keep tweeting at Koinangi Jeff, at Citizen TV Kenya. The hashtag is JK Live. Are you inspired? If not, then, you know, I don't know what to say. Jeff Koinangi Live takes a break. We'll be back in a moment. Back to Jeff Koenige live right here at Citizen Television. Tweets coming in so thick and so fast. These two young ladies, Chef Maliha Mohammed and First Officer Tracy Wangeshi, inspiring an entire generation. By the way, uh, First Officer, who is Captain Sumo? Uh, Somo. Somo. Yeah. He's my boss. He's the CEO of our company. Is that right? Yes. Apparently he's watching you. Oh. Watching every detail. <laughs> Silverstone is tuned. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> is he, is he, does he inspire, is he like the most senior captain? Is that it? Oh, yes. He really? Is. He's the boss. He's the, the owner. Boss. Yeah. How many women are there at Silverstone? Uh, we are two. Women pilots? Yes. Two? Yes. Working on, you know. More? Yeah, more. Uh, two more out coming. of how many? Uh, two out of, I think, possibly 50. <laughs> <laughs> so it's still a man's world, right? But yes. you're breaking that glass yeah, ceiling. Yeah, we're breaking the glass. Yeah. Yes. So tell me, um, we were talking earlier mm -hmm. on the break. So you watch movies about planes and incidents and all kinds of stuff? Yes. You do that? Yes, I do. They don't scare you? Oh, no, they don't. They give me more insight of what she'll do in case you get uh, Like Sully. You remember that, uh -huh. that plane that landed in the, in the Hudson? Yes. In New York City? Yes. Do you watch that? Yes, I did. It doesn't scare you? Oh, no, it doesn't. You're nuts, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> Chef Malika. So, you say, you, earlier on you said that your, ga your dad is in Uganda. Yes. What's that about? 
Well, my dad, when you shall go to Uganda. Is that right? Yes. We going to shall go quite. When the gani? Mbale. Yeah. Did you grow up there or No, I was born and raised in Mombasa, Kibukoni. Uh-huh. That's where I was born. I grew up and I was raised. Right. Yeah, my mom, my late mom was half Iranian and half Tanzanian. Good lord. Yes. So you she's half Tanzanian, half Iranian. Your dad is Ugandan, yes. but you were born in Kenya. Yeah. And we took on to go to Hindi kidogo. So you're a real mchuzi mix. Spanish la paella. The, the stuff that you cook, you are part of that mchuzi. Kabisa. Anna? <laughs> exactly. D- did your dad watch any of this? Oh, yeah. Are you close to him? Are you uh, Very close yeah, to yeah. him. I'm his firstborn, of course. Of course, of course. Yeah. So, so, so did he watch? Yes, he did. And? And he called me up and he was so happy about it. And he actually almost cried, yeah. Mm. <laughs> yes. Because you know what, uh, having mix, mixed cultures, you acquire a cosmopolitan character. Yeah. Because now you gain a lot of culinary experience and uh, technique and skills in cooking from different types of ethnic uh, background and cultures. Yeah. Just like in Mombasa, it's a hotspot for many cultures. So you can learn different types of biryanis or pilaus, not just one, two, three. We have ABCs of biryanis and pilaus. Is that right? Exactly. See, No, see, uh, Mama Jerry. <laughs> Pilau and Jerry. <laughs> okay. If you were not cooking, yes. Chef, uh, what would you be doing? Cooking. <laughs> You kidding me? <laughs> Cooking is part of me. This is it. Yes. This is who I am. This is my why. This is my purpose. This mm. is my calling. Mm. My calling is to inspire the women out there because there's so many talents, Jeff. People are dying with their own talents. People are scared to come out into the world and show to the world that this is who I am in a plate. Because I want to challenge I want to challenge channel channel it out out there that be phenomenal or be forgotten. It's your take. Be phenomenal or be forgotten, Hello. Jeff. And yeah. this is your why. This is my why. This is my calling. I've been searching for what is my purpose in life. What can I do more? We have so much more to give out there. Yeah. We have so much more to teach. Teach one each one, Jeff. Goodness. You're wise beyond your years, huh? First Officer Tracy, mm-hmm. if you were not flying, would you want to be a lawyer like your brother or or your sister rather or business like your brother? I know I don't see myself anyways apart from flying. <laughs> <laughs> seriously? Yeah, seriously. You know, if you ask me if I wasn't doing what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, don't ask me, it's not about me. <laughs> I'll be singing country music. <laughs> you got to know when the whole... No, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> so how far do you want to take this, Malia? Tell me, well, how far do you want to take it? To infinity. Seriously? Yeah, there's no stopping me now. I am now unstoppable because now I know my limits. Now I know what, what's the next thing I can do. Yeah, but okay, eventually, do you want to open a restaurant and just serve people and, 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 and bring on younger uh, people, who uh, chefs or potential chefs, yeah. and train them and, and you know, have a good time in serving people? I want to give um, the youth out there who don't have a job to actually work and have a job. I want to create jobs for the youth out there because they can sit down and be with their talents, but they cannot be accepted to maybe restaurants and hotels. So they, when they come to me, acquire the training, acquire the skill, then they can use my name and my resume and my CV to get a chance to work in a five-star hotel. Uh-huh. So it, when, the, when, if the Guinness Book of World Records confirms your breaking the record, yes, what happens? Well, a lot will happen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? You didn't know. Well, Guinness World Record. Do, do. Guinness World Record. They don't pay. Right. Yeah, they will uh, acknowledge you. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. put you in their Guinness World Book of Records book. And then do you get a certificate. Exactly, you get a certificate and a medal. Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah. World record breaker. Exactly. Who didn't go to pee for seventy-five hours? <laughs> 
<laughs> First officer Tracy. Yes. So if KQ comes calling, <clears throat> would you go? Captain Hi. Somo is listening. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tough one. <laughs> well, I'm happy where I am. Yeah. But I don't mind career. <laughs> progression that's a good answer yes, yes. good answer mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. i mean look mm -hmm. there are not that many women yes that glass ceiling has to be shattered mm -hmm. your generation is knocking on that door mm -hmm. and shattering that ceiling yes so go ahead do it i'm gonna go my friend <laughs> all right we're gonna go to the tweets now uh jackie muhati from uh, kenya airways I'll tell you what she said later. Uh -huh. <laughs> Jackie. <laughs> I tried to get some people to come on the show through her. Uh -huh. It's okay. It's all I do. Philip Jumbe. Breaking the ceiling. Two women. Different worlds. One objective. Success. I admire it when women saw the heights. Has Malia that of setting up a school to share her self-acquired skills? Is that in your plans? Yes. Uh, a chef school or cooking school, culinary yeah. school? Yes, absolutely. That is my, one of my goals. Mm. Yeah. You have to dream big. Those orphans, where were they from who were eating all your food? Yeah, they were from uh, different parts of orphanages around the county. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had invited them and they came and they ate. How many were there? Um, uh, we had like 20 orphanages coming in. 20 orphanages? Yes. With how many kids? Um, around 30. 30 kids yes. eating 400 dishes. <laughs> yeah. Do you, do you cook uh, desserts? Um, yes, but uh, I'm, I don't, I'm not a pastry chef. Uh -huh. Yeah, because there's a culinary chef and yeah. a pastry chef. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can make a good cake, a okay. mean brownie. I'm good at brownies. Okay. Yeah, but it's not something that I will work the whole night to make a yeah. wedding cake. Sure. No, I'll not do you that. You don't do wedding cakes? No. Do you do tiramisu? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. With uh, mascarpone, or what do uh, you use? Of course, you use mascarpone. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Mascarpone. I have no idea what that is, but you know. <laughs> it's a cheese. Oh, yeah, it is. It's a cheese. Captain Simon says to the senior first officer Are there any grants or scholarships where young Kenyans can be given opportunities to venture into flying? <clears throat> Other countries have made that step to advocate for the global shortage of pilots in our country seems to be lagging behind. Were you, did you get a scholarship or anything? Or did, was, it, was it difficult paying for flying lessons? Oh, yes, it was. It was tough, huh? Yeah. But how many hours do you have to fly to get that first PPL? You need about 55 hours. 55. Yeah. And then commercial? 250. Hours? Yeah. Two f between 200 to 250. And they're expensive, huh? Yeah, very expensive. But people go to South Africa to do that a lot. Oh, yes. I did mine locally. You did yours locally? Yeah. And it was expensive? Oh, yes, it You're was. You're still paying for it? Oh, yes, I'm still paying for it, yeah. yes. Moses Kimgatich, <clears throat> beautiful ladies, looking gorgeous and amazing right there. Look at you guys, by the way. Congratulations, you are an inspiration to many, and more so the young ladies out there. Keep doing what you do. More tweets coming in so thick and so fast. Uh, Ngiela Bonai says, Jeff, kindly tell Malia, Maliha, I'm proud of her. I'm also a chef, but have never managed more than 12 hours. That guy, 12 hours. So you a superstar. I'm a Salimia. Um, I'm Salim. Kabisa. Oh, okay. We just have a kid too. Gideon Nzioki254 says, I'm trying to picture out how one can cook for over, over 400 recipes within 75 hours. Chef Malia Mohamed. You're extraordinary. Keep the fire blazing. That's incredible, huh? Did you make up those 400 recipes? Did you, did you outline that before you started? Oh, yes. You said, this is what I'm going to do? Yes. Were there more than 400 or you just said 400? I said 420 recipes. Yeah. So you could have gone on? Yes, I could have gone on. What did you, what 20 did you leave out? Uh, you know, just humor me. Because, you know, if I'm going to make pilau, I'll make five types. If I'm going to make beef, uh, biryani, I'll make five types like that if i'm gonna make a beef wrap i'll make beef wrap veggie wrap chicken wrap any wraps and continue doing that you add more numbers 
Is that right? Yes. Do you know Chef Ali? I know Chef Ali Mandri. He's yeah. my brother in Mombasa. <laughs> <laughs> Good guy. Nice yes. guy, Chef Ali. Cliff Monene says, to become a pilot, how much is the fee to study piloting? Qualification from high school. You want to talk about money? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's lot. A, it's expensive, huh? Yeah, it's expensive. That's what I can say. If you didn't have the money or if you didn't get help or whatever, mm -hmm. what would you have done? I don't know. I think... You're lucky. Do you consider yourself lucky? Very lucky, yes. Very lucky. Yeah. yeah. I agree. Alan Thayer, three, says, I have a question to the female pilot. Her name is First Officer Tracy Wangeshi. I have a cousin of mine who's a female and wants to venture in a similar career of piloting aviation and she says it's expensive according to her research <laughs> oh, yeah, you see here we come costs again it is expensive huh? yeah i know it's expensive but uh you know are there scholarships offered is there any kind of okay i've not seen any in kenya yeah. but uh, there's one that we are trying to partner in south africa called the fly uh, girl fly program i right. think they can girl have a, fly. yeah girl fly program uh -huh. i think they can have a look at it because it's more international yeah yes google girl fly yeah girl fly. south africa south africa yes okay your monthly take home pay is, oh, no, i'm not asking the amount don't no, don't tell me now <laughs> is it good oh yes it is livable yes. with yes. how many hours a month do you work or a week Oh, I do roughly between 60 to 70. Uh, what? Per month. 60 to 70 hours. That's yes. a lot of hours, huh? Mm, no, it's, uh, it's enough. Yeah? Yeah. And when you're making pillowcases, how much do you make? M money. I make money. Enough? <laughs> <laughs> Cle <laughs> clearly you need another in source of income. <laughs> yeah. Martha Sammy says, you inspire me, Maliha. I love to cook, but your passion is on another level. You sure have greatness in you. Congratulations on your achievement. Thank you. Anytime. <laughs> now we're going to SMSs, okay? Text messages. Elias Busiene says, good work, Pilot Tracy. Reminds me of my days as a flight operations duty manager. No TAMs, weather, yeah. ADDs, fueling, flight planning, etc. It's awesome operating planes. Keep up as you inspire our young ones. You, do, does any of this make sense to you? Oh, yes, it does. Uh, Nothing, whatever, ADDs, all, all that. It makes sense to you? Oh, yes. What, what does that mean? Uh, no TAMs means uh, notice to airmen. We get notices, like, uh, let's say, in case, uh, like, you have a bad runway in Mombasa. Yeah. You have all those no terms. Yeah. If you have bad weather, you encounter as you go to Mombasa or Eldoret, ah. you have them on your no terms. Yeah. Yes. The only thing I remember is Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot, Golf, Hotel, oh, yes. India, Phrases. Juliet, yeah. Kilo, Lima. Mm -hmm. I could go on and on. Mm -hmm. Are you impressed? Oh, yes, I am. Yeah, no, you're not. <laughs> Wawero from Raqqa. Hi, Jeff. The ladies are a true example of hard work and resilience. Not always expecting opportunities on a silver platter. We are proud of them, right? Yeah. Hard work pays off, doesn't it? Oh, yes, it does. Good. Margaret Rashanja says, this is truly a demonstration of the strength of a woman. Absolutely. Keep the fire courage burning. Fire of courage burning. Sky is not the limit for you. I guess it is not the limit. Keep flying higher and higher. You are truly an inspiration to the young people. The sky is not the limit, huh? Oh, yes. You're going 39,000 feet or beyond, right? Oh, yes. Yes, yeah. yes. Professor Clara Momani, right here in Nairobi, says, Wow, such an inspiring pair. Those ladies have proved that the female gender is nothing but a social construct. That's the way, ladies. Kudos. <laughs> They're loving you guys. They're loving you. Uncle Boniface Mbari Agashanja says, Tracy Wangashi, you have made us proud as a family and for the girl child by demonstrating to the world that what a man can do, a woman can do better. Congratulations and keep aiming high. Bravo, Uncle Boniface Mbaria Gashanja. <laughs> Uncle Bonnie. Oh, yes. Uncle Bonnie is watching. <laughs> Where is Uncle Bonnie? Oh, he's at home watching. Where? Nairobi. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I know him, right? <laughs> yes. Uncle Bonnie. 
Humphrey from Donholm. He says, I remember Tracy encouraging me to do flying when I was young, which made me to put more effort on my studies. I'm so happy for your soon-to-be achievement. You know Humphrey from Donholm? Oh, yes, I do. Yeah? Yes. Did, he, did he want to fly? Oh, yes, he did. And? And I hope he's working on it. Okay. Yes. How long ago was that? Should be uh, maybe four or five years back. Okay. Yes. But you haven't heard, you haven't seen him flying next to your, you know, yeah. on your blind side or whatever you call it. <laughs> Aft. Caroline, last tweet here, last uh, SMS. Maliha is a true decimation of dreams come true. I first walked in at Imani Collective and saw this writing of her on the wall that says she wants to break the Guinness World Record. And hey, check that out. So encouraging. Is that what you did? Yes. Uh, at Imani Collective, we have a dream wall board where each and every employee could write down their dreams. So one of my dreams I wrote there that I want to break the Guinness World Record in 2019 and I want to open up um, Le Golden Blue Re Culinary Institute in Kenya. When was this that you did that? Almost two months ago. You said you want to break the Guinness Book of World Records in 2019. Yes. And you went ahead and did it. Yes. I think it's good that people have affirmations where you can tell yourself and you believe in yourself. You know, Jeff, the only enemy that you need to fight are the ones who are between your two ears. That's the only enemy that you need to fight first. Mm. Once you conquer that, you are unstoppable. You guys are amazing. You know that. Jackie Muhati is back from KQ. I don't know if she's poaching or not, but she says, very proud of this young pilot. I encourage her to aim higher. They are changing the narrative and influencing more young ladies. Happy to learn that Koki Mutungi has been her influence. Oh, yes. They've called up to the challenge. Can you take it up? Are you ready for it? Oh, yes, I am. You don't sound very confident. <laughs> I'm, I'm not flying with you. Eh? <laughs> Convince me. Oh, yes, I am. All right. Mm -hmm. Philip Itale, he's Director of Communications at ODM. He says, Jeff, by the way, Itale, Paul Esana for your big bro, eh? Paul, Paul Esana, he lost his big brother the other day. Oh. Yeah. Itale says, those two ladies are amazing. I hope other ladies are watching to see how others are breaking the glass ceilings out there. Leonard Mambombotella. Remember him? Mm. You know who he is? Botella. Yes. Huh? Oh. <laughs> okay, time to leave. <laughs> Legend in the broadcast. Leonard Mambo, you must know him. Leonard Mambo. Anauliza. I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, but I will try. Yeah, remember Nj who Yeah, 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 yeah. That guy. Okay. Who yo? Okay. Yeah. Hiya. Yeah. Chapati za kunyumbuka hupikaji, hupikwaji? Mwambeza ito chapati za kurasa. Kunyumbuka ni kurasa. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what, what just <laughs> happened. Chef Ali, Chef Ali. She says, God bless this amazing young woman. Thank you, Chef Ali. Does he inspire you some? Yes. Yeah, great guy, yeah? I was, I was following him since the, his first season of Tamu Tamu. Ah. Yes. Okay, so going forward, mm -hmm. you guys get the final word, okay? We'll start with you, Tracy. Okay. Captain, first officer. Mm -hmm. People are watching you for the very first time. Yes. Young kids. Yes. What do you tell them? Uh, I'll tell them to follow their dreams. I, fo I followed my dreams. Um, I had challenges. Uh, some people told me I wouldn't make it, but I didn't listen to anybody. Yeah. So was I, there a point you wanted to give up? Yes, yes, that was that breaking point that I had. But you know, I, I kept talking to myself every time that I know I need to do this. I started, I need to finish. So I told myself I need to work smart, yeah. not harder. You know, it's a men's world, so you really have to prove yourself. So what I can tell ladies is that you don't give up. Keep fighting, don't listen to anybody. And uh, keep the zealous going. You know, you have to keep uh, you have uh, you have to keep reading. Also, it's not yeah. it's not a joke. Flying mm -hmm. is not a joke. Mm -hmm. That's what I can say. Yeah, it's tough. And all that responsibility back there. Huh? Oh yes. All those packs. Yes, you're carrying passengers. A lot of responsibilities on your side. Yeah. Yes. 
when you hear of plane crashes, does mm -hmm. that bother you? Oh, yes, they do. Yeah. Yeah, it can happen to anybody. It can yeah. happen to me. Yeah. Oh, yes. Prepared for it. But you keep flying. Yeah, I keep what flying. What do your parents think of what you do? Okay, at first, my parents were against it, but uh, I kept pestering them a lot, so they were like, okay, we'll give you the chance. Go for and it. And it's a dream, I keep working for We'll support you all the way, so my parents have really supported me, and I'm happy that they've been there for me. Yeah. Yeah. Chef Malia Mohamed, you're about to break the Guinness Book of World Records. Yes. Subject to confirmation. People are watching you for the very first time. Yes. What would you tell them? I would like to tell people that you must gain OQP. Look for them. Only quality people. You mix yourself with losers, you are going to be the same. My OQP people were a team at uh, Pwani Oil, Fresh Fry Company, Raju Malde, Drubo Joiti, Efin Jao. These are the team that inspire you. You get inspired because the doubters are going to tell you that this is unrealistic of your goals. The haters are going to tell you to quit. So I want people to go and hunt for their dreams, to never stop. You will fail at one, two, three. Life is going to knock you from the blind side. But that does not mean that you will fall. And if you're going to fall, you fall from your back. Because if you can look up, you can get up, Jeff. That should be much more. I can inspire, I can motivate. But in the end of the day, the only person whom you can actually believe is the one who is looking at you, back at you at the mirror. You know, you need to believe in yourself that you can get this. You cannot settle down for less. Yeah. There's a point where you are going to say enough is enough. I need to do this for my family, for me, for my children, for their betterment of the future and for my community. How you want your community to look up to you? What type of a legend you want to leave behind, Jeff? Yeah. This should be your purpose. What's your mother thinking about you right now when she's seeing you? What is she thinking? I think she'll be crying right now. Yeah. Yes. There's a guy called Abu in Uganda. She wa he wants your contacts for business purposes. <laughs> I say no. Abu. Abu. <laughs> 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 and a lot of people are asking for both your contacts, by the way. <laughs> Goodness, what are you people doing tonight? What are, you doing, to the, what are you doing to these people? <laughs> well done. Mm -hmm. First Officer Tracy Wangeshi, yes. congratulations. Thank you. Keep doing what you do. Thank you. Chef. Well done. Thank you so much. Maliha Mohammed. Thank you. You guys are superstars, huh? Good luck to both of you. Thank, Thank you. And when that uh, record is confirmed, yes. will you let us know? I will come here directly with my certificate and medal. Nasasa ukikuja hapa utapika au tutakuwa tutakufa na njaa. I will cook if you want me to cook. Yeah, huh? Yes, you sure. Know? Yeah. Ni chef Ali tu anapikaga hapa. Ah. Si tuweke nini? Jiko hapo uanze. Tufanye. Sio. Kabisa. Ama namna gani? Kabisa. Tuko tayari. Thank you guys. Good job. Well done. Thanks so much for being a part of Jeff Kanenge live tonight. What a show. Two young amazing women breaking the glass ceiling. And you can do it yourself out there folks. If these two can do it, come on. You have no choice. Mm -hmm. Do it. Do it and keep doing it. Thanks so much for tuning in to Jeff Kananga Live tonight, the only show where the three letters on the keyboard follow each other, right? Yes. J K L. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> was every Wednesday from 9 p.m. We'll see you tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. on the hottest breakfast show in all of Africa. Hashtag Jeff and Hamo on heart. In the meantime, keep tweeting at Kananga Jeff at Citizen TV Kenya. Hashtag Jeff Live. Good night, good luck. God bless these amazing, amazing women.